can't hold it. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is KG. This is me, and we're here with Drunk Live. Yeah. Hey. Feels like it's been forever. It does. Uh, but this is kind of a special Drunk Live because it's Oktoberfest. Yay! So uh, let's fucking start our our drinkings. Yeah. Start our drinkings. Let's continue the drinking. Uh, we should have played this at our wedding. Chops boots. This is what they do. We need more people to make arms with. There's a word for this at Oktoberfest. It's the dance that they do that they don't even have to get up. They can keep drinking. It's, awesome. it's so fucking amazing. That is fucking it's awesome. It's so amazing. It's got a really, really long, uh, hard to pronounce word, which is going to be super fun because we're nice and drunk. And in just a little bit, we're going to try to pronounce a bunch of German words used at Oktoberfest. So uh, I apologize in advance for botching your language, Germans. Yeah, so... Happy first day of Oktoberfest. Happy first day of Oktoberfest. So um, exciting. Uh, do you have any German ancestry at all? I don't know. You, you don't know? I have a I little know. bit. My great-grandmother yeah. uh, was German. Uh, Schnitteker. So there you go. that's deep. That's hardcore. So that's I must have hard. a little bit in me. I guess. Must be why I like to drink. German and Irish. It couldn't I mean, possibly just... be. I know. I'm like, uh, I'm indigenous. So I'm American Indian. Yeah. Uh, Mexican Indian. And Irish. <laughs> Clearly, I like to drink. Well, so, before we uh, get going here, let you guys know what we're drinking tonight. Tonight. This is pretty fucking good. Knee Deep Brewing, Tahoe Deep. Uh, this Imperial IPA. This is really fucking good. And Knee Deep hit it out of the park with this one. Uh, huge fans. We just tried it for the first time like less than an hour ago. We did a review for it. See. Fell in love. Smells super funky. It's pretty funky. Uh, mouth watering, uh, but refreshing at the same time. Yeah. Uh, bitter, just all around good IPA. So check that out. Tahoe Deep, Needy Brewing out of Auburn, California. Be sure to check them out. Excellent. So yes. if you are tuning in now, make sure you give us a share and hashtag Drunk Live and also hashtag Oktoberfest. It's October with a K. Uh, and let everybody know that you are watching the drums. And then a uh, big Kick shout out to uh, Phil the Nude right now. Phil the Nude. Uh, thank you, everybody. Got some stuff going on. Phil, but, Phil, uh, Phil the Nude, uh, who you saw here first on The Drunks. He's got his own channel, Phil the Nude. And uh, there's something going on with uh, his home life and life in general. So make sure, uh, thoughts and prayers, thoughts go, and prayers. Go, go, uh, go check him out. Check out his channel. Give him some love. Let him know that you love Phil the Nude. That You're ready to see you know, him come back because he's been away for a little while. Come back, buddy. We miss yeah. you, bud. So he's got, he's got some shit. Get back on the horse. Got some demons. Start smoking that weed again <laughs> and drinking that hams. I don't know where the fuck you're getting it, but you're getting the fucking hams. I don't know. I think he's having sex for it. I don't know. I think he's performing sexual maybe he's, favors. Maybe for... he's fucking the hams bear to to score the hams. Uh, you did not hear that here. I don't know what he's saying. Anyways, anyway. buddy, thinking of you. So uh, definitely check out Phil the Nude, uh, uh, Drunk Life, and, and the Drunk's favorite. Yeah. So I am pretty excited tonight. We have Beer Wars. Not only Beer Wars. Not just a Beer Wars. I think it's we have Beer Wars. Das Boot fucking uh, spectacular uh, German beers uh, going head to head tonight. I've never had either one, neither of you. No. We're going to see what the fuck happens. We got, so, they're both, they're both. Well, uh, one is uh, one is made in Munich. In Munich, so it's yeah. actually an Oktoberfest beer, and then the other one is a Bavarian beer mm -hmm. that is not an Oktoberfest beer because it doesn't, uh, it's not. With but outside of Munich, it can be used to celebrate Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, absolutely. But it is not actually at Oktoberfest, um, which is in Munich, Germany. And and we'll go over that in a minute because there's all types of. We did goodies. some random drunk research yes. on on Oktoberfest. It's actually so. really fucking cool. So uh, I wish we had an actual band behind us. <laughs> I feel like that would be more important. And your uh, Durndle and my later Hosen did not come in, so they didn't come in. Maybe next year. So you are 
rocking uh, Rebel Scum over here. Rebel Scum. And I've got one eyed Doll Scum. So, awesome. you know. Beautiful as always. What we have to do. Yeah. Thanks. My, uh, my beer winch. Yeah. Uh, I think if we really wanted to look up the definition, you're the beer bitch because you got all the beer. Over I there. always get the beer. Absolutely. This is my beer bitch. Uh, yeah, this is beer bitch and me, and you're watching Drunk Live. I'm really fucking excited, man. I'm I pretty mean, excited this about is this. like this is our holiday today. I mean, this is this is a holiday is that celebrates celebration. And we get and weeks beer of this shit. Family weeks and coming, of this and shit. coming together. I'm pretty yeah. excited. Absolutely. I am very excited to check this out. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to my friend Amy. She's here watching, and uh, hey, what's up? Hello there. So if you're watching us live, awesome. If you're checking this out later, uh, cool. Make sure you cool. share. Either celebrate way. Oktoberfest with us. Definitely celebrate Oktoberfest with us. We've got some more shows coming up, um, and we've got some drunk quickies that are going to be coming up. Uh, the review for the beer we're drinking right now is coming. Yeah. Uh, lots of other stuff. You know, speaking of beer, you know, I did plan to go to House of Pendragon, you know, local brewery today, uh, the kickoff of Clearly Oktoberfest. Clearly, we've got uh, um, hop stuff. <laughs> um, they were like starting their Oktoberfest festivities with new releases of yeah. uh, German beer. And um, they were supposed to, well, you had to purchase them, but you were going to get steins. And they were fucking huge. Shipment fuck ups. Probably not going to be until next week. It's happened to me multiple times. So hopefully by next weekend, we will have our House of Pendragon Steins to do on the next show and review that. Have a good time. We'll film all the way to the fucking top. Um, so kind of sad. I was hoping to have them for tonight. It would have been awesome because we don't have any signs in the house. But Not um, really. We have a 1988 Christmas... <laughs> Edition Budweiser Clydesdale Stein that was given to me by my father. Uh, I don't even know why the fuck he got that, it. I, your I, dad I had some weird. He had like five Random boxes of boxes of Wheaties. Yeah, actually, I, 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 you know, I did watch something on. Speaking of Wheaties, I watched something on uh, Facebook today of a guy who had two boxes of cereal. He had a box of Wheaties. And he had a box of organic, uh, like corn flakes, bran flakes. Yeah. And uh, he took a magnet uh, over the two piles. And when he took the magnet, he stuck it over the Wheaties, and the Wheaties lifted up and stuck to the magnet. It's because they've got a lot of iron. Iron stuff like that. Yeah. So, so it, it, just so you know how magnets work, they only yeah. work with metals that have iron. So metals that don't have iron in them will not like react. The um, they like won't that. react to yeah. magnets. So. I thought it was quite interesting. I mean, we all have to have a little bit of iron. And That's a motherfucking shit. iron right there. Um, but when he held it over the organic uh, bran and cornflake mix, uh, there was nothing. Nothing was sticking to it. So kind of interesting. I mean, it depends on what you want to put in your body. But I know that we all do need a little bit of uh, uh, Wait, we metal need a bit, in our a diet. Bit of iron, but I don't know that, that you need to eat a bunch of nails. I, I'm not a goat. You know, I'm not going to eat a fucking can. Good. But, you, you know, a little a, bit. You got a fucking uh, a goat ass yeah. going ah! Yeah, you know, whatever. Mean, whatever. So uh, I'm pretty excited for Beer Wars tonight. We got that coming up, but I kind of wanted to talk about Oktoberfest Let's first do it, because man. I'll be totally honest. We did some honest. fucking research today. I, I I didn't. I knew that there was an Oktoberfest. I knew kind of what it was, but yeah. I didn't really know a lot. So, the history and everything uh, that goes I into pref, it. But I want to preface this with: we've been drinking for a while. <laughs> Today we always do our uh, drunk quickie, so all of our beer reviews get oh. get filmed before we do uh, this drunk live show. So we um, pre drink for a few hours. So let's just keep that in mind before I start talking about the history of Munich and Germany, and also try to pronounce German words because this is going to be uh, a pretty interesting show tonight. And I feel like all respect to German people for just having this overwhelming love for beer and and keeping it and fresh sausages. and keeping it so meat, sausages. I mean, let me tell you chicken. that this today is the hardest time to be a vegetarian. <laughs> we, we, we do have really vegetarian do sausage in there. We have vegetarian know. sausage. I should have got some buns. We might have to take the four yeah. mile I walk do want to the store. Fucking I don't know. Brought, I, I don't know. It sounds really good. I want some kraut, all that stuff. Oh. So let me tell you a little bit about Oktoberfest. Okay. So I uh, I know that this year's Oktoberfest is from September 16th, which is today, yeah. to October 3rd, because it is usually what the third week, the third the Saturday, third Saturday in 
September. Yeah. Until the first Saturday in October. Right. Now it was called Oktoberfest because it happened originally in October, and it was what like 1810 or something. 1810. There was a wedding. They the, well they they pushed it forward to like mid September because well, of better weather. Yeah, yeah, but but in 1810 in October there was a wedding with right. King Ludwig and some fucking princess chick, and it turned into this like three week long they party party they fucking which kind of sounds like our wedding. I don't know about you, but uh, it turned into this three week long party where everybody just kind of came together that the town came together and they all got drunk and everybody had a, a shitload of sounds fun. like a fucking blast it sounds like it's 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 really really fun and uh just the music behind me either makes me want to drink or get on the matterhorn i can't figure so out I want, I want to kind of get into like some of the rules of oktoberfest because it's evolved over there are years. actual rules yeah. when it comes to oktoberfest it is not just get together eat pretzels and brats and drink beer well that happens there are rules um it's like so, a horror movie. There are rules. so just you know a couple things yeah there are only six brewers, breweries that are allowed inside uh, Oktoberfest. And the, hold on, yeah, the actual Oktoberfest in Munich. In Munich, the actual because festival there is are, on the fairgrounds. There are breweries all over oh, the nation. Outside. We're celebrating are here in the Fresno area today. We're but celebrating right here at, in an Irish pub. So at actual Oktoberfest, there are only six breweries allowed, and the reason for that, the rules are these breweries have to be inside munich city limits so they are allowed but there's and only they, six there's only six and they actually the day of they have a parade where the breweries come in with their first kegs of beer and they parade them in with horse-drawn fucking something just popped into shit. my head right now yeah and i totally forgot to write it down mm. there is a german phrase and i can't think of it now when they tap the keg and it is it has been tapped has but been i can't tapped. think of what it the, is the, in German. The, the mayor of munich yes is the one who taps, he taps the, the beer and says party on motherfuckers but, well Pretty in much. german yeah. you know i don't know what is i don't know how to say that das fuckers i don't know something like that <laughs> das I, fuckers. Das fuckers. I think i think das is like um, with but yeah just some you know some things you know the six breweries and then there's uh they call it the the purity law um, and it does have a German name, which we'll get to later. Uh, it has a German name that's like this long. <laughs> so Three ingredients in the beers. That's all they allow. Barley, hops, and water. That's it. That's all they allow. None of this crazy uh, citrus peel or anything. Yeah. <laughs> so over 7 million liters a fucking beer will be poured for the next I think over weeks. 7 million liters. We should be counting all of the beer that we yeah. drink on the show. Because I think that that's probably pretty close. And millions of people will attend. Yeah. Millions. Yeah. If you want to get an idea of that, there are videos on YouTube that will show you kind of yeah. what the event is. And this looks is the like. 207th uh, official Oktoberfest. So. Really? Yeah. 1810, 1810 do the math. There yeah. you go. Do yeah, the yeah, math. There you go. Do the math. So 207 years of celebrating friends and family and music. And meat. And meat and beer, which is kind like, of us. Like, like roasted fish on a stick, roasted chicken, sausages, red cabbage and sauerkraut. That just sounds, oh. I want to eat that right now. It just sounds so amazing. I have to say I, I mean, mean all day. These are like, these are beer foods. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing better than getting like a pretzel with like German mustard. Having a you good are making beer. me hungry. I'm telling you. Let me tell you. Oh. You're making me hungry. So yeah. Uh, barley, hops, and water. That's all that's allowed in these beers. So uh, they keep it pure. And that's been going on for ages. So You drink the beer, Haas. I know. Are you ready to... Dude, I'm done. Okay. I'm ready for fucking... So we have a beer wars tonight, which is pretty exciting. We're kicking off Oktoberfest, which is fucking awesome because clearly that's us. So you're watching a drunk show for Oktoberfest. Here you are, sir. And uh, we are actually graced with one of the beers that is served at Oktoberfest. It is from Hofbrau, I'm gonna say it wrong. It is from Hofbrau Muchen, which is pretty much brew house of Munich. So we're only gonna drink one at a time right now. 
so we can just talk well, about it. I think that okay. So well, I don't want to pull them both out because I don't want them. I to want get them warm. both to be nice and cold, and this is actually pretty frosty. Let's do one at a time. So, but if you're not familiar with the way beer beer wars works, one beer is poured in a specific glass, the other beer is poured in another specific glass, and then we choose which beer has won the fight. Yeah. So, so, so a lot of this is in German, and this is one of the six that is yeah. allowed. This this brewery will be serving this beer at Oktoberfest. Yeah. Right now. Right now in Germany. Well, yesterday in Germany, uh, they started serving this beer here, and it. Uh, yeah, tell them about it real quick. Well, all I all I really know. You, you do get a brief description. It's very teeny tiny, and these cross sides have been drinking all day. So uh, it actually dates back to 1589. Uh, Not the oldest brewery that's coming. We have something very special coming. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, so uh, what I do know is Hofbrau München is, uh, it's Hofbrau is shortened from Hofbrauer, which is uh, like the beer house, okay. like like the, the beer court, I think okay. is what it was um, because I guess at that time when it was when it was named, it wasn't it was a, a, a governmental thing. Okay. So it was made for. And might we say Oktoberfest, the original beer garden? The OG if, 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 beer garden. If you want to get technical, the OG beer garden. The OG beer garden. Let's crack this fucker open. I'm do you ready. have any? Do you have anything else? No. On it? it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a pop. It is. Yeah. I was trying. I was trying to pull it off, but it didn't work for me. Ooh. Ooh, all right. Yeah. So these are all what what people would call Hefenweissens, which are like a wheat beer, a light wheat beer. Yeasty. Uh huh. There, uh, both the beers we're trying tonight are a uh, five point four, so it's roughly your usual beer, and it's very light. You can see. I think we looked up that Weissen means or Weiss means light, like Edelweiss. Edelweiss. Uh, blonde white. Blonde white, yeah, like your Belgian whites. That's pretty much, and it actually says five point one on here, but Beer Advocate has it at five point four. Beautiful label. We just get like the Bavarian architecture, and, and you stuff. get a full pint just, in one of these. You get a full pint. Mm -hmm. uh, Munich wheat specialty. So, and it tells you right there, brewed according to the German purity law. Both bottles will tell you that. I want you to know that the original term was purity order. Purity order. It's purity awesome. order. Uh, awesome. I think the Germans really had shit together. Yeah. At some point. I don't, I'm, I, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I, I got to. I, I think I want to like really look into. I know you and I have talked about it before, but I really, I really, really want to do ancestry because there's a whole, whole portion. One of my um, close relatives was oh. adopted. So I have no idea what my heritage is on one half of my family. So I, I really don't know. And I know yeah. that there are a lot of other parts that I, I have no idea either. So I'd love to do one of those one, two, three and me's. Can't get over the smell. It has a particular smell. I'm ready to drink it. I'm not fucking That's around it. today. You can taste the yeast. Very yeasty. Mm -hmm. It almost has an old speckled taste without the old speckled feel, and it's that's the yeast. I'm getting like a saison. I forgot. I forgot like, to. It I, has a saison. It's like a saison, uh, which flavor I think saison has a as a similar brewing process. But I forgot to write down. Um, yeah. When you're at when you're in Germany and you're at Oct Oktoberfest, there's a specific way that you summon the the waitresses to bring you more beer, and I forgot to write that down. Oh, and they're all beautiful, all of them. Well, you, you should have wore it tonight. You were you were especially lovely in our promo images. <laughs> it's just especially. beautiful attire, might I say. I think what you're um, talking about is the boobs that come hanging out. I, you know, I kind of like the uh, the ruffle shit on the shoulders. I like that. I don't know why. It's kind of hot. I know it's kind of the same thing here. You just need some ruffles. Um, not a fan I of know, the smell. I know, but what I adult shirt did not come with it. Not a fan of the smell at all, but the taste but, but, is okay, but, really but good. But look, there is a smell to this, and what is it? Because there is a beer that smells like this, and I can't think of what it is. It's yeasty to me. Mm. And I'm going to tell you right now, what, what, what I smell is the same thing I believe I had last night or two mm. nights ago, was a French uh, Saison. 
uh, this you kind sounded of, super fucking this, hipster right now. I, I know this kind of. Uh, uh, I, I don't want to uh, okay. take away from it. No. Kind of uh, bologna. I don't smell that at all. Sausage. I don't know what you're talking about. Flavor. What I smell, smell, if you've ever had, there is a berry wheat bread. This is what it smells like. It, it is not. It, it. This is a beer I would drink in the summertime. Oh, yeah. It and has, I could pound this. It literally has a sunshine smell. Mm hmm. If you ever, if you ever had we kids, off. Thanks. it's not good. Thanks. If you've ever had kids come in from out in the sunshine and you smell the top of their head, or the dogs they come out and you smell the top of their head, they have this smell, this sunshine smell. And that's sunshine what smell. I really like this. I want to save a little bit so that I can taste both both at a time. Sure. Because I have no idea what the other one's gonna. We'll drink to. half. I'll drink the other half, and uh, we'll go from there. So. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Hofbrau. It's Hofbrau. Munchy. No, München. München. München, which is, it just means Munich. Munich, okay. Yeah, so this is brew like a brew house and in Munich. That's pretty much it. And this is Hefeweizen, Hefeweizen, which is like what yeast, it's like a blonde yeast beer. Oh, you can, I mean, if you just look at the head on I this. I don't speak German at all. In it, fact, I should have my sister-in-law here tonight you know, because she does. You know, if you look at the head, it is really yeasty. It's super. Uh, so a, a yeasty or a yeasty beer is going to have a really like fluffy, soft-looking, um, like almost meringue. Yeah. Uh, almost a meringue top. Yeah, but beautiful though. I and mean, if, it's if just... you if you just take the head take the head off and taste that, yeah, it almost has a tinny flavor, like. I'm definitely a fan of this. I, I would probably pick this up again. I might go get two more tomorrow. They might. We go to a, a, a European pub, which is kind of an nice, an Irish pub, but they have a lot of different European beers, and I think they have this one. So yeah. Um, this one quick thing, because it just popped in my head. No. Uh, are you a fan of comedy? Are you a fan of sci-fi? Do you like Star Wars? I think that's kind of everything we are. Do you like Star Trek? Do you like Futurama? Firefly. Do you like Seth MacFarlane? Do you like Firefly? Check out Mission the Zix. Mission Z -Y -X -X. to Z-Y-X-X. Uh, on any podcatcher. You can actually get on YouTube, too. Um, ranges about a half an hour. Uh, what would they call it? Like an audio uh, satire, like yeah. uh, drama. It's like, a radio, it's like a radio show. Yeah. So you're probably going to see a review from us coming soon about this. This is kind of really up our alley, so... If you're interested in something like that, go check it out They're now. They're super small. I mean, they have less than 200 followers on Facebook. Definitely check them Give out. Give them the support. Tell them the drunk sent you. Tell them that like, yes. we're big fans and that we've sent you to go check them out. Um, Soon enough, funny. I will be rocking my Mission to Zek shirt. Um, <laughs> you know, I do have to say the episodes are really short. So if you drive 15 minutes to work and 15 minutes back home, you can finish an episode. It's that quick. So... Check it out. I mean, give it a shot. Let us know what you think. I happen to enjoy it. I enjoyed the first episode, but the second episode was really great. I, I, had, I had a great time listening to that before work. I, I had a fucking blast. Um, but it's just kind of like this mix of, like, everything. It's just, it's perfect. It's something different. I listen to a lot of uh, Star Wars podcasts. So to kind of take a break and actually listen to something that's a little bit different, uh, that was actually recommended by a Star Wars podcast. Um, Which Star Wars podcast recommended? Uh, Rebel Force Radio, actually. You really like that? I love Rebel Force Radio. Not as good as making Star Wars, but uh, Rebel Force Radio for sure. Um, but check it out. Mission to Zix. Z-Y-X-X. -X. Uh, if you're a fan of comedy, sci-fi, you won't be disappointed. And especially like those old audio dramas that you could catch. You know, it's different. They're fun. I know yeah. Doctor Who does audio drama. Yes, absolutely. And I'm kind of disappointed in myself. I'm so behind on that. I would love to start Correct. listening to those. And what's I'm cool behind about, on literally. I'm behind on taking a shower. What's cool right about now. that is they have like 10 and 11 coming in. Uh -huh. and 
Yeah, so behind. Yeah, you check if you're if you're a hoovy and, and you're missing out, dude, you got to check out the audio. Drive. Yeah, so let's drink half of this and then uh, uh, yeah, we'll pull up the next I'm one. I'm really the excited one. about. So the the next Special. beer that we Special. have is kind of important. Not even kind of important. It's very important because it comes to us from the oldest brewery in existence. This beer is brewed at a brewery that has been around since the year 1050. Don't even ask me how to pronounce it. Well, I what's really I'm funny sure. is I am going to ask you to pronounce it because it's <laughs> on one of these cards right here. This should be pretty exciting. So, yes, you can see this has three words to it. Don't excuse my chicken scratch because that this is me writing another language in a permanent marker. Uh, uh, I'm pretty excited. This is going to probably be our last word that we're <laughs> that will be last. No, this one's going to be last. Word. All right. Uh, so this actually has a very similar look to it. Very similar. Very there, similar. There, it's also a half. Uh, it's it's a. Wow! Look called? at the head on that one. Uh, half a uh, half white beer. So uh, yeast blonde beer. I'm really happy to have these beers on the show tonight. I'm super proud that I was able to find these. So <laughs> it's really fun to be able to do uh, an Oktoberfest show. Absolutely, I'm really excited about this. Uh, last year, during you know, I did want to get US, because so. it's like one of the number one rated uh, domestic uh, Oktoberfest beers is actually Sam Adams, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's lame. I wanted to get it and try. I do like the Rebel IPA though, and we've had that, and you did like it. So suck my ass. You did like that one. Possibly. I may or may not. So like that. can you pronounce this? I can try. Uh I was a theater kid. I was not a foreign language kid like my brother, so I have no idea. But uh we I can, can step in on her. Are you talking about this? But it's a hefe it's Weiss Weiss beer. Weiss beer. It's why can step on her. Step on her. And 5.4, and I'm sure it has a description. It is roughly 5.4. I know uh, I got my information on Beer Advocate, and yeah. they had both at 5.4. Great sign. Great sign. Mm -hmm. That's where I get most this of This one actually says 5.4 on the bottle. This one says 5.1, but if you go to their website, it, it actually says about 5.1. So I guess 5.4 would still be accurate. And unfortunately, this is not the six, uh, uh, unlike uh, Hofbrau that is made yes. in Munich. Um, but this I'm will sure... be served uh, in the, over the next three weeks at oh. Oktoberfest. This one won't be, but this is still a Bavarian beer. But that this is, is being drank right now, I'm sure. But it's also very important because this is this beer is brewed at the oldest beer house ever, it's the oldest ever people. in existence. It's the oldest brewery ever. I have this beer yeah. on the show. It's the oldest uh, brewery ever. And what what year did you say? 1050. 1050. 1050. My fuck. Made by who? Uh, the Bene Benedictine, Benedictian, whatever it's called. Uh, so the Pope, Pope Benedict, back in the olden days, uh, all these monks in that time started this brewery. Absolutely. That was fucking awesome. It is fucking awesome. I'm pretty excited I mean, this is like that. drinking history. I mean, hopefully the yeah. recipe hasn't changed. I haven't, I haven't had a sip yet. Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. You know, I want to smell it and then taste it. I'm really trying to just I soak everything in right now. I wish I had a little water, I don't want to get that out of uh, there. You can go fuck yourself. You got water on the show. Kind of the same smell. But it's a different taste. This has such oh, a, man. this has a very unique flavor. I like that. If you're if you are curious whether or not you can find these in your area, we're nowhere near Germany. We're nowhere near Bavaria. <laughs> we uh but we were able to find these uh at our local pack and save, which is a safe way. And so, I do believe it was kind of Oktoberfest deal. Probably. Because they had like this little section that had a lot of these beers that I've be never seen before. The Oktoberfest, yeah. I've never seen these before. And I'm in there constantly checking to see like new supply. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, you get. I, I'm, just, I'm just really digging it right now. I mean, there's. History so if, if you're just... if you're looking for the the two beers that are here, I actually included that in the link is not there because the the websites are in German. But if you wanted to check them out, you can uh, just 
highlight and right click and Google search these because they should be able to tell you if they're in your area or not. Uh, or at least you'll get the idea of exactly what the name is of these two breweries so you can find them. Yeah. So this is this is that Hoffrau Munich or Muschnick or whatever it's called. And this is the, the Hefeweizen. And this is also a Hefeweiss beer. So it's pretty easy to find. It's not yeah. it's not like a Hefeweizen, which is an American version. Right. I've had Hefeweizen taste nothing like this. No. I'm super happy that I tried this. This, this is something totally different from these what we beers. Try. Honestly, expand my palate, uh, not in a way that an IPA does, um, in, in in you know in a different way that makes me appreciate uh, um, more European style of uh, pilsners, lagers. Uh, well, know, with beers from from know. what I've read, a lot of European beers are lower alcohol content than other beers. They're to be enjoyed, and you know, it is a it is not about getting drunk. It's no. about being with family and being times. with friends. I mean, I actually saw a thing: the Stein itself, the huge Stein that you get at Oktoberfest, the Stein itself with the beer in it, five pounds. I don't know the I don't know the conversion rate. Of pounds to US dollars. No, no, five pounds. That's oh, how much it weighs. Oh, I see. That's how much it weighs. Five pounds. So yes, you're gonna have I something that has a lower content. Weighs five you're pounds. gonna have something lower content. Yeah. Uh it's huge. The fucking sign's fucking massive. So of course you're gonna want something with the lower content. I, you're drinking, I mean, drinking, 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 drinking. You're, you're, you know, you're in a crowd of like over 100,000 people riding rides. You're having a good time. You're eating sausage and red cabbage and sauerkraut. My fuck, do I want that? And you're just <laughs> having a great fucking time. So, yes, you're not going to want to drink something that's too heavy and something that's going to fuck you up too quick. You want to have a good time. Both these beers are delicious. I don't know. I really need some fucking time to think about this. I, I definitely I need a snack. I, I maybe, wish, maybe I can go fry up some sausage real quick. I, I wish that we don't eat meat, but I wish that uh, that I had uh, a universal yums or something tonight because mm. I've got something to soak up with alcohol that I've been pumping into me. That'll be next time. Universal yums is on our next show. However, uh, I regret to inform you it is not from Germany or anywhere close. It is from Pakistan. But we is it really? I didn't know that. Uh, announcement two, that will be the final Yum Box. So on our next show, which will be September 30th, we will be doing Universal Yums, and that will be our final Universal Yums show. However, we will be expanding to the largest snack crate uh, that is available and including a drink. With a beverage? We got a beverage. Awesome. There is a beverage here, ma'am. So Love it. Uh, I just want to point out that there is a big bubble of something in here. And you know what? That's great. I mean, you know, whatever. Well, I, okay. I'm really glad I'm not wearing a dirndl right now because I don't think I'd be able to. I wish I was it. wearing a dirndl right now. Yeah. I, you I, know, I think it'd be really funny. You know, I do have a, a friend. Girl. You know, I do have a friend. She was a uh, parts girl at my um, old Maybe. job. A parts woman. Uh, really cool cat. She actually has a, uh, if I remember right, I believe it was a Margie tattoo from Fargo on this farm and a Slave Leia tattoo on this farm. Uh, Why didn't you marry her? Well, this was way after I met you. Oh. Um, I guess I saved my claim in that She's one. in a great relationship. Good friend. Oh, I see. Uh, really cool. Like one of the dudes. Um, she was she sounds a lot like your wife. <laughs> very much, and I think that's why I got along with her so much. Really cool chick, uh, Lene Cash. Um, she enters into like the Central Valley Oktoberfest festivals, to where she dresses up in the normal and yeah everything. And I think she won last year or the year before. She won. I'll have to show you a picture. I, I know that a lot that people, like European people, get really irritated when when there are like 
slutty during no costume. Oh no, no, no. Because... she she was she wasn't slutty at all. I mean, she no, wear like these skirts that are this big. Yeah. It's like that's not like, a traditional just dirndl. Cleavage hanging that out. That is not no. a traditional dirndl. No, she, that you're supposed to wear like she, a full skirt. She looked great, and I'll have to show you the picture later because okay. I saw it like two years ago. I have to find it. Um, but really yeah, cool, and she loves creep her Creep on somebody's so fucking page. We're like, gonna creep. We're gonna find you. You weren't supposed to sure. drink that, so we could like. Uh, yeah, but I didn't want it to get too warm. I've already made my mind up on this. So. I think that your mind and my mind are kind of the same on this one. So, but I am going to try both. Hey, but don't keep in mind this is a beer wars. So these two beers are being pitted up against each other. So we'll see what happens here. Um, I, yes, I have two cups of beer. <laughs> but at the same time, it was a hard decision. But I think I found my winner. I agree with you on the fact that it is a very difficult decision because the, the flavors are very similar. And I think it has to do with this purity law or purity order where they kind of all have to be very similar. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that being said, I think I have a clear winner. Clear winner. I think I have a it, You know, it winner. took me a minute to think about it. But so, I mean, what you're getting, it's, it's straight up. It's simple. But I but can here's see, the thing. But, I, but here's here's my thing. <laughs> I could see drinking both of these beers for fucking five days in yeah. a row to go to damn October. Barley, Fest. hops, water. It's like me. Three ingredients in two yeah. different beers, but two different flavor profiles. Two different expectations. Yeah. One clear winner. Yeah. Are we so ready? This one, this one is the yes. uh, this one. The hop route. The, the Hefeweizen from. Hofbrau, yes. and then this is from, uh, and I'm not going to try to say it right uh, now because I will butcher the name, but I will be trying to say this in just No, no, a no. We're going to call this the Hasselhoff right here. It's not the Hasselhoff. We're going to call it the Hasselhoff. But it's not the Hasselhoff. But, Hasselhoff. but that's what we're going to call it because okay. we don't know how to pronounce it. The but Hoff. it's not even closer. It's not oh. even close at all. And we love David Hasselhoff. We do somewhat. <laughs> uh, I'm getting like a really odd notification right now on my. <laughs> we are not restarting my computer right now. Would it's not you happening. like to put a hamster through college? <laughs> what did no, I say? Uh, would you like to upgrade your Windows or update your Windows and restart right now? No, Windows. Can you restart at three o'clock in the morning when I'm asleep, please? Thank you. So let's. Do we want to do this now? Yeah, do let's do it. Do you want to try to pronounce these things? Ah, fuck it. Let's pronounce some shit. Let's go. And you have the uh, definition on the back I have side? the definitions of everything, and I think everything's pretty easy. So uh, I think one of the most important words that I could teach you right now yeah. would be prost. Prost? Means cheers. Cheers. So you clink. Okay. Prost. It's like slancha, which we're Irish, so slancha is important to us. But prost, that means cheers. There's another word for good health, but I don't know it. Okay. So I do have one word here that looks odd. Uh, I don't know. But don't it's, know go it it's gonna sound pretty know. normal. Uh, Are you ready to pronounce uh, it? I don't know. Beer. 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 It means beer. So is that where we got beer from? Why did we take the the e or why the e? i out of it? I what? Don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea why this means beer, but everything else, or but why we have two e's. I have no idea. I'm huh. not a linguist, but what I do know is, if you are at Oktoberfest, you say beer. Oh, it's beautiful. there it is. I I much rather say that than beer. Beer. Oh, it's beautiful. Your tongue goes to the back of your mouth. I, I can't do it. But beer. Oh, Look someone else ordered for me. Beer. Blah. Back here. No, not blue. I can't do it. Back here. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. And we've been saying this. I can't all even night. do an Irish accent. This should I can't do it. I, I can't do it. This should be I can a say word. this. This should be a word that everyone is familiar with. And this is the Durndle. Durndle. I love it. It is pronounced Durndle. It's beautiful. And it is the dress. If you ever see uh like a uh Oktoberfest girl the bar wench whatever you want to call her and she's got her boobs hanging out in the fluffy shirt like you were calling and let's the, let's be honest office. here every single fucking thing of beer the fucking the stein of beer is five pounds and she's hauling around fucking six steins That's do the fucking 
it's that, only, it's only thirty pounds. It's about the size of a one year old, but it's okay. But <laughs> but to have it in two hands, carrying it around. I carried a one year old in one hand, but yeah, it's okay. Whatever. Anyway, so what you're give looking her some at fucking credit in her dirndl. Is the dirndl, and that is the traditional German attire or Bavarian attire of the handmaiden who would deliver this beer. And they're fucking beautiful. I mean, I can't think of anything else that just gets me going. You need a dirndl. I don't... I, I want to ride the fucking Matterhorn right now. I don't know. I so want to ride the Matterhorn. I don't know why Why I want to... Well, I know why I want to ride the Matterhorn, but I don't, I don't know. Oh, this one looks fucked. Uh, so, let me see. This one is actually uh, a fun word, and I feel like it's very appropriate for us. So, I want you to try to pronounce this, and if you can... Well, let me look at it. If you can, in the comments, phonetically spell... Phonetic means how you would say it. Phonetically spell how you would say this word. I'll give me just a second. I think it may or may not be backwards. I'm not Austin sure. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at this real quick, and I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Cage say this right now. Austin Dolcha. I don't know where you're getting this tin. Austin. No, there's no tin. Oxton. No, there's no tin. There's none. There's Oxtolcha. That's closer. Oxtolcha. Oxtolcha. What does that mean? Oxtolcha. This means, and it is pronounced, actually pronounced. Yes. Oxt. Yes, Oxt that's what that means. Oxtolcha, and it means. Drunk. I am fucking Oxdolcha. Oxdolka, Oxdolka means drunk. And it is not German though. This is a Oh, Bavarian. it just made me think about something right now. This is a Bavarian word. Eichorst. Oh, he died. So On the sad. strain. Rest in peace, sir. Spoiler. Eichorst. This is not a German word, however, this is a Bavarian Oxdolka. word. Oxdolka. I have no clue what the difference is between Bavarian and German is. Uh, well, Bavarian is a is that German like the state. Regions? It's like a German. It's a German state, so they okay. have a little bit of a different language than we. Do. Oh, it's not like the uh, you know the the women dirndls. Uh, it was more pushing towards like Switzerland. Or that is more Bavarian. Um, Everything is. More so you're looking at like the mountain regions. Yeah. Um, I am enjoying these beers. Like I, I don't want them, man. They're fucking delicious. I'm pretty happy with this, and we do have a, a European pub locally, so I'm pretty excited to be able to go get these. Oh, yeah. This is a very important word to what we are uh, doing tonight or, and uh, what we're drinking tonight. You can't look at the back of this, oh, you sorry. cheater. Okay. So I want you to go ahead and try to, to phonetically, <laughs> phonetically spell this word how you would say this word. And it, it is very, it is important because this is the reason why we're tasting what we're tasting. It's very important. So uh, this word, I would have to say, is Reinheitsgebot. 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 Yeah. Ra Reinheitsgebot. Yeah. And bot. what is that? Bot. I think it's a bot. I, I think I know this word just because I uh, looked it up quite a bit this morning. Yeah. And this is the uh, purity order. It literally means purity order. Yeah. Not yeah. purity law, purity order. And this is why the and beer tastes the way it probably tastes. the only one that I know because I I did so much research this morning checking this out. I do know that word. Ryan hides the bot. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Rhein, I, I have on the back here kind of how you pronounce it. Rhein height skabot. Okay. This ba bottom part is bot. 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 Like bot. the front of your mouth. Bot. Bot. Rhein height skabot. If you are a German speaker, whether uh, like a native German speaker or like a high school German speaker, let me know if we're saying this wrong. Rhein height skabot. But I think you really are. Rhein height skabot. It's beautiful. Thank you. It's beautiful, man. I do what I can. Like snowball and clerks. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. So I think this is a very important, like a couple of words here, because that this is this beer, this one here, and we've been saying this a, a few times today, but it has a literal meaning. Does it? 
It does. It, okay. has, it has a literal meaning that's very important. So this is a Hefeweizen, and we've already talked about that. That means like a blonde yeast, so like a, a blonde beer, what we would call like a, uh, like a blonde wheat or a Belgian wheat. Belgian wheat. Yeah. So what would you say? How would you pronounce this? Uh, Hofbrau Munchkin. Munchkin? Munchkin. There's no Ken in here. Munchen. Munchen. So, and that's pretty much how you say it. It's Hofbrau Michen. Back here in the back of the Mochen. Hofbrau Michen. And it literally means court brewery. Okay. And Munich, which is the capital of Bavaria. Easy enough. There you go. So this is... This brew here is hot. Fuck brown Rosetta beer. Stone. We got flashcards. I got flashcards, bitch. And alcohol, which is always fun. So uh, I actually was one too soon here because this is a really fun one and we've already done this once. Let's do it together. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. It goes as follows Everybody links arms on a big, long bench. And they dance. That's fucking awesome. And the name of this dance is Skronnik. Oh, sorry, Skronik. sorry, sorry. That's Russian. Shunkon. Close. Yeah. Actually, pretty close. It's uh, it's Shunkon. Well, Shunkon. I gotta tell you, with the fires and everything, the flames really building up, so it, it's helping tonight. Good. Yeah. It's Shunkon. Awesome. Shunkon. And that's when everybody locks arms and they all dance. That's the drunk. dance. That's, yeah, but nobody gets up. Nobody has to That's get up. Beautiful. They all they all That's just beautiful. sit and they dance. I, I fucking love that. And I do have to say, it was kind of our thing uh, when we retire. We were going to go to Ireland. Sure. Yeah. We were going to go to uh, County Caban. Uh, actually, Coot Hill in County Caban, Ireland uh, to check out. You know when it's a uh, VH, though? It's a B- County Caban. Caban, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't mind maybe hopping on a boat and checking out that. That's what I fucking said. And I only said that because I don't like planes. So if I'm going, I'm going once and I'm not coming back. So I'm, we I better will fucking die. die there. We will die in the hole. I better time. stay that's until I die. Let me well, I got to take you to Wells. I got to get you to Wells. That's, I'll that's stay in my Ireland. That's my hometown. Yeah. I'll so die. you die there. I'll die in Ireland. <laughs> it's all good. All right, and this one is going to be a very difficult one. It's probably our most difficult. Fuck me. Is that this the name of this? This is this brewery here. Ah, fuck. This is a very long... This is the oldest brewery in the world, people. This is the longest words in the world, let me tell you. So uh, uh, go ahead and give this a look real quick and see if you can pronounce it. Uh, I apologize about my shitty handwriting because, uh, you know... Uh, I speak English and I don't know how to write these words, so my letters got kind of crazy while I was trying to write them. So we're going to now try to pronounce this. Oh fuck! Uh, <clears throat> you want me to go first? Uh, yeah. Bearish. You always like add this extra Russian thing to it. I don't know why. Go ahead. Starbrander. What? What? You like all these D's in there that aren't even there. What the fuck? Are Why you and Stefan? Okay. 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 Ready? <clears throat> Fire ice? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Lanish? Do you make me pee? Virish? Yeah. Statabara, right? Rehneka? No. Stat Brara. Brara. Yeah. Brara. Wyan Stefan. Yeah. Okay. So, Bayerisch Statabraya Wyan Stefan. Okay. What does that translate to? That would be. Okay. Bayerischer, which is, means Bavarian. Okay. Okay. Bayerischer. Stasht Brauerheit. Stash Brauerheit. Bavarian States Brewery. Bavarian States Brewery. Okay. Weihenstef Anna. And Anna, when you put the er, ER at the end, means this beer particularly. But if you just say An, it's the brewery. Okay, what does that translate to? Weihenstefan. Is, it's just the brewery. Oh, okay. It's by it's a it's a plate. I mean, it's a it's an area. Gotcha, gotcha. Of this 
portion of Germany. Interesting. But but the W is a V. So Weihenstephan. Weihenstephan would be the oldest brewery in the world, which is this one, I guess. I've never even thought about touching the German language at all, but I do it have to say sounds really fun. it is beautiful. It is very pretty. It's yeah. kind of like in the front and in the back of your and, throat. And, and I do feel that you have to be sick a lot of times to, it's to speak it. It's possible. I'm congested. I've, I can speak I've, German I've only known one person, one American person, yeah. who has spoken Gaelic. Okay. And I don't I don't know what it's supposed to sound. I mean, like, I can listen to YouTube channels and stuff, but I, I've yeah. never heard an actual Irish person speak Gaelic to me. And I've never heard an actual German person in person speak Gaelic to me. I mean, speak German to me. Right. So I am only going by what I can read and what I've heard. <laughs> That's it. I have to say, though, this, I'm glad I saved this one for last because this one is pretty important, I think, to us because okay. this is what they say at Oktoberfest and in German for one, two, drink, and that is kind of us. Okay. And I do think that this uh, particular uh, uh, card will be in the studio at all times because this will be we say slancha a lot in this in this studio and you know what maybe it's Irish. time maybe it's time to change it up and Get a little you know, German I, in here. I do like this uh to say before the show sure. when we pound our beers sure. when the song comes on and you can do one two three or you can do just one two drink. so i think that the but flash this, card this will definitely get. set uh by the camera and this will be our uh this will be our new thing so I want to hear, I want to know, I want to read what you, how you would say this. Let us know how you would say this because we are going to say it now. Are you ready? Yeah. How would you say that? Eins, zwei. Nope. No. <laughs> Good. Well, what's the next one? Eins, zwei. No. Safa. Close. Eins. Eins. Zwei. Zwei. The Safa. The Safa. The Safa. Uh, Sexy. Safa. So, eins. Eins. Zwei. Zwei. Safa. Safa. Oh, you gotta clink with me. Drake this shit. Get the fuck out of here. I got fucking sausages to cook. One, two, drink. Eins. Two, drink. Zwei. Beautiful. Safa. It's fucking beautiful. I'm telling you. There it is. I don't speak German. Uh, I'm sure I pronounced it all wrong, but it's okay. <laughs> I don't care. I've been drinking. Who's the so, winner? Are you ready? I'm ready. Where's mine? Here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm ready. On Shafa, you pick up the, the cup that wins. Okay. Ein. Ein. Schwein. Schwein. Shafa. Shafa. Ooh. Oh. oh. Really? Interesting. Mm. Okay. Winner. This is your winner? That's my winner. Really? Yeah. We have a tie. This is. It's a first. It's a first. Yeah. It is a first. So this beer wars has ended in a tie. And thus this Oktoberfest kicks off. For me? Yeah. It was easier to drink. Really? For me, I, I really like this one because it, it had a bite. Had a bite. Because yeah. you know how I am. Barley, hops, water, B, W, O, for life, B, W, O. so? I don't know. I have no clue. I'm fucking drunk. <laughs> what the fuck is O? You... Can we drink today, like, boys? Uh, can we drink I today, know, boys? I don't know, I don't know what can we I thought it was the B, W, O. It's the B, H, O. It's B, H, O. Or B, W, H. Remember that one time I tried to teach you about CBW and you couldn't understand that horror bit? Horror started with a W? Oh. <laughs> Anyways. It is very lucky that I married this guy because he's so fucking cute. Uh, <laughs> Happy Oktoberfest to you guys. Happy Oktoberfest. Go. Guys. I wish I knew more German because I talk, I talk about it. But here's my wish to you guys and my demand. Go try a new beer. Try something different. Get off the Bud Light. Get off the Coors Light. And even if you are already get off trying, the IPAs. Even if you're already Go trying try craft beers, try something different. Go. Whatever is outside of your normal wheelhouse, 
Try it. You never had a Guinness. Go get a Guinness. You've never had a fucking speckled hand. Go get a red speckled hand. Go get a Heineken right? for God's sake. Go try one of these. Whatever. If you have a local brewery in your area and you haven't gone to check them out, check them out because yeah. clearly what happens when you like a beer, they stick around for 1700 fucking years. They stick around. Yeah. So let's try to make sure that these beer breweries that blah, 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 these breweries that we have that are amongst us now can live to see infamy. Yeah, definitely like give some love to your local brewmasters. Yeah. You know, if you have a brewery in your area, go to a like an opening night or opening day of a special release. Go try something new. I mean, I had for the first time ever, I had one of those French Saisons. I never had it before. And let yeah. me tell you, I, you know, we can talk about that. I don't even know where that went. We took notes last night. On... So, so what you're going to see in the upcoming Drunk Quickies is us, our review of a flight that we got at a local brewery where we, they didn't have anything we, we wanted or liked on tap. So we got a whole flight. We just tried a you bunch said, of stuff. Fuck it. We're just going to try it. You know, you don't know what's out there until you try it. I mean, there were... we say it to our kids. We tell them to try peas. We tell them to try try green beans. We tell them to try all this stuff. Yeah. But we ourselves I mean, we don't tried, want to try You, stuff, you know, we so. tried like a red owl. You know, we tried like a French saison. Yeah. Uh, you know, we tried like a pepper, a smoky pepper infused beer. <sighs> tried all these different Dude. beers. Yeah. And we we liked most of them. I mean, it was it was different. It wasn't in our wheelhouse. But we were but able we, to. We actually ended up finding beers that we really, really exactly. Liked. So if you want to see that and other reviews that we've done, you can check out our drunk quickie playlist on this very channel. Um, if you have seen it, which we just posted, I, that's like a big deal. Everybody's talking about it. Um, if you've seen it, let us know what you thought in the comments. Check out our review of it. Uh, it may or may not sway your decision because we <laughs> we may or may not have said something that you either thought or didn't think. Uh, so we have all kinds of other stuff and more but stuff. But I do have to say with this tonight, process. you pick your winner, I pick my winner. So in my book, Germany, you're you win, a you win. God Germany, bless Oktoberfest. We actually really like the two beers that we tried yeah. from your area, and we will be trying more. So please keep it up. Um, thank you for keeping us in the know as far as beer is concerned for the last 200 and what years. Yeah. 260 years uh we really really appreciate that uh keep it up and maybe someday you'll see the and how do we say it eins eins schwei schwei gustafa gustafa not gustafa mufasa gustafa one two drink drink pretty much what we do and let me tell you this motherfucker is going to be up above the camera <laughs> Ein Schwein, gustafa. every fucking time Check us out on Instagram and Facebook at the official drunk. Who the fuck am I? Wait a minute, not oh, yet. Sorry, I got excited. Also, make sure that you click that subscribe button. It's very, very important. Hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. And when you click the bell, you're gonna get a notification whenever we post stuff, which is pretty awesome because you know drunk is cool. And we might give you something or fucking try Check something new. Check us or out in October. We're so close. I think we're only like four or five, uh, like subscriptions away from our milestone which is when we're going to do our our beer pong tournament beer pong, which dude. is pretty Let's awesome but check us out all through october we're going to have drunk quickies regular videos and drunk lives all about horror halloween etc etc which is all about us might uh, do a walk so around of our haunted house there's it is a possibility yeah. uh if you want to send us a message you're more than welcome to do that uh, otherwise, we will see you guys next time on Drunk Live on the 30th, which we will come to you with the drunk, with the Universal Yums, I believe. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? This is KG. This is me. We're actually pretty fucking drunk. Ross. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you share, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Stay drunk or something. Happy Oktoberfest!